All right, so I'm going to talk real quick about the design. This thing has a very particular look um, that's very deliberate. So uh, when Ed first told me he was doing this, and by the way, two more, two more notes about this campaign that are pretty important to know. Um, this, is, uh, this is Ed uh, <laughs> <laughs> on his good days. And he won't tell you this, but Ed was the person who originally figured out this was probably possible in Chicago land. So if this thing happens, just remember, just remember that. Uh, and then this is a woman named Jackie Grimshaw. Jackie Grimshaw is one of the people that got mayor of Hill, Washington elected. He was the first black mayor of the city and one of the first progressive mayors we ever had. Possibly the only progressive mayor we ever had. Um, and she's spearheading the campaign. So she's one of the people who talks a lot of the political class into taking this for real. So if this happens, this is also this is also Jackie's fault. Yeah, I'm actually Jackie. Jackie Grimshaw is our campaign director. She's vice president of policy at TNT. She's awesome. She lives next door to Obama. Yeah. Okay. So why does this why does this thing look the way it does? So um, there is a problem. At least I think this is a problem where whenever people have really cool ideas for public policy, it's really hard to get them out there. Um, there's a whole cottage industry of people whose job it is to come up with great ideas for the region. It's really hard to get these things to actually start, right? My pet theory is that um, uh, the people who do policy research, their job is to do policy research. Their job is not to sell ideas. That's the job of propagandists like myself. So um, you need a separate skill set to really sell an idea. And, and the way we sold this was not to lie, it was simply to show. Right? So that was the main concept of doing this is um, because it involves raising money and because it involves big scary changes, people the, the first thing that's going to happen is there's going to be mass confusion over what's actually being proposed. And then who might tell the story if not the people coming up with the ideas? The media. But we all know that the media focuses on the negative and amplifies conflict. Right? And so they're probably not going to do that either. So the goal was to do something very, very simple, to have this thing sell itself. Just show what's being proposed and see if people can get excited about it. So we said, how do we do that? How do we actually connect with people? Well, everyone knows what this looks like. If you have ever been to Chicago, you see this, you probably have a dim, at least a dim idea of what this is. That's the first insight is people know what CTA is. We're also proposing Metro. See a really faint stuff? That's Metro. But notice that we're foregrounding CTA because people know. So the point is relatability. Pick something people know, people know CTA. We're going we're gonna to focus on using that iconography, that visual language, because people will get it. The second thing is, yeah, go for it. Go to the next one. How do I do that? Because you're already on the second screen. Good. Yes, it's magic. I feel like scroll down. That other way. Yeah, go down, go down. Stay there. Oh, my God. The second thing is um, think big. And I didn't have to do that part. They hadn't already done that part, but convey the scale. So we're literally, I mean, what we're talking about is doubling the size of this thing. The third idea is be visual. What kills a lot of the excitement in life is too many goddamn words. You know, we're just trying to make out with the girl and she's like, mm, you know, that kind of thing. People really, we have like whatever percentage of visual of our brain is dedicated to vision, we're visual features. People respond to images. Just show what's being proposed. Show being the operative word. Don't say, you know, capital funding plan, revenue stream. Nobody gives it, nobody cares, right? If you can, can grasp what this means. And only then are going to begin to care about how to pay for it. If I don't even know what you're talking about, why should I care? Can you scroll down to one of the projects? The other thing, and, and so along with that theme is, don't just show it, use language that people actually use. Kill all jargon. Jargon is useful when you're developing ideas. It's not useful when you're trying to explain them, unless you're a professional. Ever tried to talk to a lawyer and failed? Exactly. So instead what we say is it's super simple. What is the South Lake service? It connects the South Side to the loop. That's the first thing it does. So content-wise, we focus primarily on doing a single thing. Say what it is. It sounds super simple, but it's actually sort of hard. What is it? What is the South Lake Ground Service? Well, it's a lot of things. Primarily, it's basically 
another red line that goes along the lake front. Okay? We are still talking about public policy stuff. We're saying, look, jobs, 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 jobs. But notice that we didn't put that up front. We didn't say economic vitality and prosperity and you know the usual language of politics. We're just trying to convey it very concretely what it is. So use simple language and explain what it is first. The next thing was tell a story. So people love to make clicky maps, maps where you like click and you poke and stuff. I'm not a big fan of those because I'm not being led to anything. I'm kind of like lost in this paralysis of decisions. And instead, there's you, the only choice you have is to scroll and read. You know, like if you don't want to scroll and read, go somewhere else. Um, <laughs> why? Because it tells it because that allows you to tell a clear linear story. Like maybe your mother told you while you were growing up. That's why you're so well adjusted. See, works wonders. Um, uh, and then I forgot my notes, so I'm going to sneak peek. Um, language, visual, story, relatability. Ah, here's another. We talk to people who are in the world of urbanism or transit stuff. For some reason, they see what we see, you know, a nice new train. They see everything but the damn train. They see, like, new neighborhoods, you know, climate change, all these additional benefits. Those benefits are great. But the issue is that what grabs people's attention is, holy crap, I can get to O'Hare now from my house. That's what counts, which means that people respond mostly to mobility, to the idea of being able to get from here to there, and less to the other stuff. And we did a lot of user testing on this. We kept changing the messages and assaulting my girlfriend with them. That's our user test. We went to a lot more people. Uh, and generally, what grabbed people was, I can get from here to there. And predictably, people respond to what affects them. Right? So, so the guy I know who lives right here, he's like, holy crap, this would be huge for me. And then the people, you know, nice white people from the north side, this is, you know, like, it's conceptually nice, but it doesn't grab, it doesn't hit them here. Right? It doesn't hit them here. Stomach. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's, th those were some of the main ideas we, we, we had while developing this. And 